What is going on, everybody? I'm Mark Campy, the Android Gamer, and we welcome you to another episode of NBA All Net. And yeah, new roster update. We got AI. Co uh, now I got LeBron James Mystic. I spent like 10 bucks to get him, and I don't regret it. Um, you still have Shaq in the middle, so I got rid of Akeem Olajuwon, which I feel like I made a mistake on that. And I, <laughs> I should have taken O'Neal out, but he has solid stats. Right here, oh, oh rebounds. Um, literally, he's the devil on the rebounding side. <laughs> and um, the small forward, I picked up Kevin Durant. And still keeping Kobe with that untouchables chemistry with LeBron. All right, so last episode, I gave you the headline on the new update. And basically, midweek, middle of that week, there was a huge send-out of um, compensation packs everywhere. And people were half-heartedly annoyed, like half and half annoyed and happy. Is what they got. Um, I uh, a lot of people picked up mythics because of it, and many people ended up getting at least the most I've seen was a hundred and twenty-five thousand gems in their counter, and that that's crazy right there. They they had to have special special requirements to get it. I only got six thousand, and I used it all to get KD. And I spent ten bucks on LeBron James. All right, so now let's head back into the uh, let's go to ranked match right here. The another week, another dollar. Well, another week, another five bucks. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, that was ugly. Um, yeah, I was winning like eight, ten games in a row, and then I, like lost three right away. That's way too easy. And I, <laughs> the most I've won so far is A. Um, so, um, <laughs> I was going to say, happy President's Day, by the way. So, this is a great day off. And, of course, yesterday was the NBA All-Star Game. And All-Star Saturday night. And, basically, it started off as Friday night. Kevin Hart, um, MVP of the Celebrity Game. And I wasn't surprised. I voted for him. <laughs> Hilarious on the court. I think he can be more serious than Kobe. Is that with the Lakers being the joke of the <laughs> joke of the hour? Ironically, I still have both Kobe and Shaq, and I am playing as, if you see here, a Los Angeles Laker. But yeah. Um. They open up the New York server the day after the update. Inlet. So now let's move on to. Oh, I didn't watch the skills. The skills challenge. The uh, USA versus the world, but I did like the performance Giannis and Tita Kumpo put up. Um, very good at that. He's very good at that. <laughs> um, so let's move on to Saturday night. We had the slam dunk three point. Uh, skills challenge and shooting stars. I did like the shooting stars because they actually have a half court contest for that. Um, oh, by the way, congratulations to Kembe Matumbo, JoJo White, and all those other players and in being inducted into the um, Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if they are, but they they are finalists, and that immediately I just assumed that they are in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Which can be a big mistake. Uh, I will be so mad at myself if I mess up on that. Um, Alright, Stephen Curry winning the three-point contest. putting, But then again, it would still go to the Bay Area. It would just be which player will bring it with them. And who will keep it. Um, but after three tries, fourth time is the charm for Stephen Curry. Who beat out Clay Thompson. And basically, basically, if it could have gone either way to, either way, it's coming back to Cali, NorCal. I'm in SoCal, so, oh well, tough luck being a Laker fan. <laughs> um, I was pretty 
Pat, um, I was pretty surprised that Patrick Beverly came up. Uh, he was the replacement for John Wall in the Taco Bell Steals Challenge. And he, every time he came up the court, because it was a head-to-head competition this year, he would come back from behind. So he comes back from behind. He misses all these like, chest passes. And all of a sudden, like, the people at the shot, like Brandon Knight, he kept shooting in and out, in and out, in and out. And Patrick Beverly came in and splashed it right in. Um, how about the slam dunk contest for that? Zach Levine. I'm surprised that the rookie was able to make it. I was expecting Giannis Antetokounmpo or or um, Victor Oladipo to get it, but I was really surprised. And he did he did bring out the Space Jam stuff and all that Saturday night, and they were in the spot and. They say they have replays right now on NBA TV at that. Um, let's see, uh, the All-Star Game. Wow, the league All-Star Game, I'm surprised Vander Blue uh, really impressed me. Seth Curry could have done more. I, I can't believe I'm even talking about that. <laughs> uh, but let's head to the main event, NBA All-Star Game. And New York, I'm from New York, but... I wasn't raised there. I was raised in Anaheim, the Disney city. Well, one of the Disney cities. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm now 91. I'm in the top 100 right there. That's going to get me a a mystic. That's going to get me. I think it's going to be. I think if I look at this. Yeah. Week, no, no. I lied. I lied. This is going to give me Dwight Howard. No, no. Even if it's going to give me Kevin Love. Ooh. Hey, at least... No, I need to have Kyrie for that. <laughs> um, Russell Westbrook is the MVP of 2015. And he came out with a Kobe-esque performance, even though there's no Kobe. Uh, nobody even acknowledged Kobe. or The only uh, uh, injured player that was there at the All-Star game was Anthony Davis, which they did acknowledge, but they did not acknowledge Kobe. And I feel like that was kind of messed up. Like... He's nearing the end of his career. He shall at least be known for being one of the best of the best of the NBA All-Star game. Um, yeah, I was surprised also with, um, like, 20, 41 points, 27 points in the NBA All-Star game record. And it's the record for NBA, oh, I believe, NBA All-Star game final scores in history. Although I think in Wikipedia... So I do all my research on Wikipedia. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, but it says like the highest one is like 175, and now it's back in Boston Garden. And I as I, I don't think that's valid because they said this year's pretty high score. It's most high scoring NBA All Star game ever. It's also the one that played the least amount of defense. And it'll get you in trouble if you were in the AAU divisions or. YMCA or that. Um, <laughs> yeah, a pretty solid play right there. And check out the oh, Sally Malex. Uh, let's check out the cards available now. Mystic Paul and Mystic Griffin. That's probably that. That's not gonna get you anywhere. Yeah, ninety-one, and I believe Griffin is a ninety. Stephen Curry, pretty disappointed in that all-star game performance. But, oh well, things happen. So, anyways, that's I think that I think I covered everything except uh, world versus U.S. Uh, Dash Schroeder put up some good points. Uh, I I don't know. I'm surprised Nikola Vucevic didn't make it. I think he's he's pretty good this year. Um, yeah. So, again, a uh, change in that. Also got a little bit of uh, upgrade, like, um, just minor changes with the gear. And I put Durant, I put all the swag on Durant. Headband, score badge, the attack shoes. I think that's an attack headband. No. I remember, I think I put, yeah, no. I didn't get that yet. 
I'm supposed to... Wait, no, that's it. Hold on a second here. Give me a second. There you go. Head attack headband. I knew I did not put it on anybody. Oh yeah, because I need to rank it up. And I have a good amount of money right here. But the reason why I'm going to trying to put on a ranked match is because of this. Complete 2,000 ranked matches. Oh! Is that Mystic? Is that Mystic? Yeah, that is Mystic. Deck head man and 1,200 wins. I think this is the last one where they actually count it for 1,200 matches. So let's keep going. I have like 34 more games to play and then do that. Um, by the way, there will be no Madden this week. I'm taking the week off and then coming back with more YouTube videos for the, for uh, not this for not next weekend, but week after that, I'll come back with more episodes of NBA All Net and um, Madden. But in the meantime, like right now, I'm trying to take a break from that. I focus more on life, basketball, real life. <laughs> People are trying to tell me like, "Go get a life," and they say, "Yes, I'm trying to show them what I do as a hobby." Like, you make YouTube videos for you, and as long as people watch them, they like them, they, they basically interact. I, I do believe I will keep making videos. Um, depends on the time that I have, and if I, the more time I have, then the more I will make the videos, but, um, you mellow right there. But the thing is, like, um, I'm busy all the time. <laughs> I only do this on, I only record on Sundays and I have to post the late episodes on Mondays, even during the, during the zero. Uh, well, it's a Monday, it's President's Day, so I have time to make a video for you. Heck, I can even record for Wednesday, but I'm just gonna record the NBA on that video for this week and the week after that, and that's probably gonna be it. Come on. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Um, I also will come out with a a new game. Well, not new. I think mo a lot of people have played it before. Um, Subway Surfers. I'm trying to get that game up, up and running again and try to see how far I can get without dying, of course. And that should be a awesome new series. And that should come within, um, in the middle of March. And it will be... I'll replace NBA All Net for the month, and then I hope to return to the game by April or May. Uh, Madden, I hope to keep that a regular series, hopefully, um, once I get Kings figured out again and making the roster good and wake up everybody that's still asleep. But yeah, once that's figured out, I will do that and again. So let's highlight the topic that we've had so far um, uh, upcoming schedule. Um, upcoming <laughs> national TV schedule, national YouTube schedule, I mean, um, and then we have the, what do you call it, yeah, basically schedule events, and then, uh, highlighting the all-star game, which was pretty fun by me, uh, to me, and I feel like Zach Levine brought back the NBA all-star dunk contest, which I have tipped my hat to him for doing just that, only a rookie and doing that. Second youngest NBA player to do so, Kobe Bryant, at the age of 18 in 1996. And I think I've covered everything. So I, so from all of us to you, you're at the Android Gamer Universe. This I am Mark Kenape, the Android Gamer, and this has been a, a you know, Android Gaming Experience.